What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm gonna be summoning on the Bridal Banner for this year and I'm gonna be trying to get Katria, she's definitely gonna be my top priority. Trying to complete that Katria emblem basically and I also wanna get Saul uh, because I really wanna uh, <laughs> kill him for his return uh, for my Mercedes. I was never really able to get an extra Sarah, so if I could get multiple Sauls that would be perfect. From my main account, I never really fodder off a unit that I only have one copy off. On my free double account, I would do that. But on my main account, it's more like a collection purpose type of thing. Even though I do like to play with my favorites. So, I'm gonna try to get Juno. I really wish she was the demote, honestly, or like the free unit from Tempest Trial. Instead of Zealot, because he's not really that unique. And Juno being a mage flyer would have been much better. I guess I'm gonna pass on the redstones. I'm only actively trying to get um, Katria, Saul, and Juno. Juno is a demote, so I hope I can get her. We haven't really got any kind of free to play uh, Mage Flyer after a Versa, which is a shame because that's, you know, an unexplored free class type. They basically don't really give us one type of unit and then after some time they just spam us with that. <laughs> this is pretty much what's happening with the Axe Cavaliers. We don't really get many Axe Cavaliers, but this year itself we have got Plagian Male Chris, Lex, Spring Soleil, and now <laughs> Zealot. So yeah, I really wish Juno was the free unit here. I'm gonna get Lissa. Actually I'll complete the circle here. Um summoning on this redstone. Maybe Shauna would show up. Okay, never mind. So let us begin with the questions that you guys have left in my comments. As always, if you want me to answer any kind of question, you could leave them in the comments with the hashtag question. And oh boy, I've hit a jackpot. Please give me two Sol. I would absolutely love it. So the first question is by Clara Felix. Um, she's a member of my channel, so thank you so much for your support. Not much of a free question, but I thought it'd be fun. Give your favorite Fire Emblem characters a partner Pokemon. This is honestly a very fun question, so I would love if you guys could also answer that in the comments. What Pokemon would you give to your favorite Fire Emblem character or characters? Um, I'd definitely be eager to hear that because it's a really fun scenario, like like a crossover basically. So for me, you guys know I like Mercedes a lot. Um, so I would probably give her Gardevoir because she's a fairy type. She's also kind, gentle, but also very strong. So I would go with Gardevoir, or actually Alolan Ninetales also works. Um, that, or even Mawile, yeah. I have three Pokemon in my mind. I was honestly thinking about a Ghost and a Fairy type, but the only one that we have uh, is Mimikyu. So Mimikyu doesn't really fit Mercedes. Mercedes does like spooky stuff, so actually maybe even Mimikyu can work. But I'm just more leaning... Oh, wow. I'm... So I just got Mercedes as I was talking about her partner Pokemon. <laughs> she definitely likes Mimikyu then. Okay, let's settle on Mimikyu. About Hector. I'd probably give him Lucario. Like, their color scheme also matches. And as a kid, I really loved that Lucario movie. And for Celeph, I'd probably go with Keldeo. Um, Resolute form. I like that way more. And Ares. Yeah, we need someone edgy. I guess Bisharp could work. <laughs> Yeah, Bay Sharp could work, Dark Steel type. And then Marianne. I definitely have to go with a horse Pokemon. Maybe Galarian Rapidash. Yeah, actually that fits. So those are the partner Pokemon of some of my favorites. Uh Sol is not showing up here. We've got green stones finally. So we can try to get Katria. Her weapon is really amazing, giving you that triangle attack uh triangle attack. I I don't know why I say triangle adept, but triangle attack. Uh, which definitely is a bit annoying for original versions of Pala, Katria, and Est. But still, like, Est has the armor effectiveness, so that's good. I'm gonna get Titania here. Okay. I'll also summon on the blue stones because Ju uh, Juno is definitely easy to summon. I'm just gonna get the wrong Katria, okay. I think they might just put Pala, like, Bright Pala, next year. And just, and just keep White Wings and maybe Minerva for these kinds of banners. Because they're done with the Spring Banner, I think. With Spring Minerva. Three Greenstones is definitely pretty amazing. The next question is by Darud. 
Uh, hello PM1, hope your day has been going well and the summons have been good. This question might sound a little odd, but I was wondering, if you could own and wear the attire of any hero in Fae, what would it be? It can be armor or an outfit from an alt resplendent. Obviously, it would be made perfectly to suit you. Thank you so much and great job at Emblem Con. Thank you so much for your amazing question and honestly, I'm a big fan of, uh, of the style of Camus and Sirius, Zeke, Eldigan, Secret. I really love uh, the coats that they have. It's very lo uh, royal looking and it just looks so good on them. So I'm a big fan of those kinds of coats. So I'd probably pick maybe Eldigan. Yeah, Resplendent Eldigan, definitely. Um, as you guys know, I really like Eldigan. So I'd have to go with Resplendent Eldigan if I had to choose one outfit. Extremely interesting question because we have such amazing designs in Fae for like the alls, the resplendents, which we never really see in uh, real life unless people are cosplaying, of course. Imagine choosing like Hector's armor. God, that would be heavy. Okay, I'm not getting any kind of focus in it. Juno is also not showing up. Um, so that's not good. Let's uh, summon on some other banners and just uh, cleanse our palette. I uh, already have <laughs> a plus 10 original Hector, so let's still try on the green stone. Okay, you're not Hector. Yeah, this banner. I could try to get maybe Ishtar. I'm just not getting the stones that I want. I already have a plus 10 lean as well, so yeah. Honestly thought that she would always be a demote back when she came out, but nope, Ares got demoted. Instead, I'm gonna try for Sarah, because if she shows up, then she's going into the grinder. I'm gonna get my first Linhart. Um, so that is amazing. Minus speed plus defense. I'm gonna wait for like a better IV maybe. Uh, I'll go for this colorless stone actually, just trying to get Sarah. Um, because return plus is gonna be amazing for my Mercedes, but nope. Dude, they're not showing up. I need the return fodder. I'll go with the redstone. Sword Catria. Uh, she did pity break me, I think, a while back. As I was summoning for Catria, Marth just shows up. Okay, I don't know what to make out of that. Uh, wow. All of these redstones. Shana definitely wants to get summoned, but uh, I have... <laughs> I have other units on the priority, so I'll have to skip the red stones here. I'm not going to be spending all of my orbs uh, on this banner. Just a few more rounds, just trying to see if I could get Juno or Saul. Katria is probably not going to be showing up. I don't get that many green stones as it is. I've... Oh my god, we have summoned like three Est so far. Est, could you please just tell your sister to show up instead? Okay, Saul, you gotta show up, man. You're the best fodder that a healer could ask for. Should I complete the redstone? Yeah, I think I should. Maybe Shana would uh, get summoned. I'm not really too sure. Seth shows up. He was definitely uh, the MVP in my arson theme battle. The next question is by Seafoam. Unit, you regret plus 10 merging. Interesting question. I usually just plus and merge units, which uh, which I like as a character, or I just keep getting copies of them, like uh, lean, and I have no control over them. <laughs> but a unit which I regret plus and merging probably will have to go with Effie. I mean, it's not like I dislike Effie, but um, like she was really strong back then in Gen One, um, so I kind of played uh, like made her into a plus and version, but. She got really underwhelming refine, honestly. So probably her, but yeah, honestly her. Yeah, definitely her. Because I have like Hector, I have got Harden, Fiorm, all of these Lance units. So it's really hard for her, honestly. And her refine being not that good is really um, bad for her. I'm finally gonna get one focus unit out of this banner. Juno is here. She does have speed super boon, I believe. 
Uh, plus attack, minus resistance. Let's go. No minus attack IV. So, let's see if I could get uh, maybe Katria. Now. Now I'm gonna be summoning on the blue stones. This would be the perfect batch if I just got Katria and uh, Saul. But every time I want someone, Arthur is gonna show up. <laughs> Tethys, yeah, I have plus 10 Tethys as well. I mostly like plus 10 units, which I actually like because investing into units just for like their power is not gonna go well in the long term because they're probably gonna get par crept or outclassed and then they're just gonna be collecting dust on your bench. But if you invest into a unit that you actually like, then um, yeah, you're still gonna use them despite whatever happens. So let's stop. Um, I think I'll just go one final uh, round just to see if I can get Katria or Saul. And then we'll move to the free to play count. Nope. No Katria for me. One Saul would be nice. Just one. Just one. Never mind. Still, at least I got Juno, so that's good. Um, not too much luck on the main account, but that's fine. Happens. Uh, let's go to my free to play count. I do have a minus speed Layla, which I've been using since forever. So patching up her IV could be nice here. So I'm gonna try to get her and I'm gonna get her. Absolutely amazing luck. See, this is why I don't really get pissed when I don't get stuff uh, in something because it comes around, it goes around, it just happens. It's part of the game. And here I just summoned, free summoned a Layla. Sadly, I have not really summoned or supported her with uh, Matthew because I have Soth, who's a better Broadleaf fan dagger. Uh, unit and I do like Soth more in general and I do use them a lot in my Astra season uh, in Vault of Heaven and every single season they take me to tier 39 uh, So I can finally patch up the minus speed IV on my Layla. So that is absolutely fantastic out of a free summon um, On this banner. Yeah, Ishtar would be pretty nice. We do get a free Ishtar merge essentially with the limited ephemera units uh, So that's always good but nope, I'm gonna get Oboro. That's fine. I do have uh, all of the... Actually, I don't have male Chris, so maybe I'll try to go for that. I do have a Lilith. I also have Sarah. Tiki is probably gonna get a resplendent version at some point. Adult Tiki, that is. Uh, yeah, you definitely do not want to summon on the blue stone on this banner. Thankfully, it gave me a red stone. I'm gonna try my luck. And get Tharja. I would really appreciate odd recovery um, on this account as well for Etherate's defense. So I'm gonna try for the colorless stone if I could get one. And I exactly get one. So <laughs> I can try to get another Layla. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Two Laylas. What's up with that? This one is minus attack. But I can definitely uh, just patch up the Ivy of the one which I have. Um. Yeah, I've been hero merit farming. So I have this Layla right here. Um, yep, so now we can patch up her Bane. She has been carrying me since like months. Over a year now, honestly. So I definitely enjoy using Layla a lot. And here goes her merge. And yeah, now she's gonna be even faster. Like, minus speed IV has never been... <laughs> A bother for Layla. Look how incredibly fast she is, like on like plus one merged. 54 speed, that is absolutely insane. So yeah, that is gonna be the summoning session. I did get two Laylas on my free-to-play account. On the main account, it wasn't really too hot. We just got Juno, that's pretty much it. Nobody showed up here. <laughs> Everyone was too busy. So that's pretty much it. Let me know about your uh, summons in the comment section down below. And I want to thank all of my YouTube members for their constant support. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps you tremendously and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because I wish YouTube sub boxes would show up as many times as S did in this summoning session. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.